We have date and sales. We need to create this yearly sales report using formulas. From the date column, we'll need to generate a unique list of years and then calculate the sales for each year. Later, when we add data to the bottom of the table, we need our report to update. Control V, and just like that, it updates. Because these are daily dates, we'll start with the year function. Hovering my cursor above the date, I click on the top of the column to select the entire column. There's the table name, and in square brackets, the field name. Close parentheses. If I were to F9, there's over 400 years. Control Z, we just want a unique list. And in Office 365, with the new Excel calculation engine, the unique function, if I close parentheses in F9, delivers a unique list. Control Z. Now, just in case the table is not sorted, we'll use another Office 365 function, sort. Now when I hit Enter, the unique list of dates spill into the cells. Notice any formula below the top cell is grayed out. It's only the top cell where the formula lives. Next, we want to add the sales. So we'll use some ifs. The sum range is sales, comma, criteria range 1. Well, guess what? We're going to have to reference that date column twice comma, because we have a lower and upper limit. And for the year 2017, we only want serial number dates that are greater than or equal to the first day in the year. And we have to put the comparative operator in double quotes and then join it. And we're going to have to create a date from the year. Now, when I click on that cell, as soon as I type the pound symbol, it refers to the spilled array. That means some ifs will also spill. And if that formula in E5 expands or contracts, the sum ifs will too. Comma. The month we want, 1. The day, 1. Close parentheses. Now we have to repeat the date column. And now we're concerned with the upper limit. So whatever date we find has to be less than or equal to and join it to the last day in the year, pound comma 12, comma 31. Close parentheses, close parentheses. And that formula will work. When I hit Enter, it spills. Now before we add new data and test it, since the formulas can spill any number of cells down, we're going to do a trick to add formatting. So I'm going to highlight whatever the maximum number of spilled arrays I think I will get. And we want to use conditional formatting. New rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Format values where this formula is true. Equals is number. And we're going to click in the top cell. That's the active cell, that white cell. It defaults to absolute. So I hit the F4 key one, two, three times. Because I want that is number to look as a relative cell reference in every single individual cell. Now we click Format. And if it's a number, we want that fill and an outline border. Click OK. Click OK. Also, we're going to have to add some number formatting. I'm going to add currency. Now let's come over here, Control Asterisk to highlight the entire set of new data, Control C. And right below the table, when we Control V, everything's working. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to see some other videos about creating reports with dynamic arrays, check out these videos. <laughs>